Today in our trailer, we'll be installing the e-trailer and axle technology trailer hub and drum assembly for 7,000 pound axles. Featuring a 12 inch diameter drum with an eight by six and a half bolt pattern. It's a 9 16th inch diameter wheel stud. It is available as part number AKHD-865-7-1-K. All right, here's what our new hub looks like. As you can see, it's a brand new hub assembly. We have our races already pressed into the hub. We have a nice brand new mat surface material here for our magnet to grab onto for our brakes to actuate. We have a nice, fresh and clean drum surface for our shoes to make full and even contact with. We have a new race pressed in for the outer bearing. We also have eight brand new wheel studs pressed into place. Now our hub comes with eight brand new lug nuts too. So we don't have to worry about having old worn out lug nuts that are rusty. These will go right on nice and smooth. We have a new inner wheel bearing and a new outer wheel bearing. Also have a new grease seal here. And finally a new dust cap. Now we'll begin our installation. My first packing our wheel bearings. We'll start with the inner one first. So we'll take a tub of grease, drop the bearing on down in there, spin it around a little bit, get it nice and coated. And then we'll start working our grease into our rollers. If you need to purchase any axle grease, we do have this available on our website. Okay, now that I'm holding the inner section of the bearing and moving the outer section, and it feels nice and smooth, what we're gonna do is we'll put some grease around the inside of it, and we'll coat the outer portion of the bearing as well. And we'll drop our wheel bearing into our hub. Okay, now we can stall our grease seal. Let's put it down in position into our hub. Now you can use a seal installer if you have one. I don't have one large enough to do this, so I'm gonna use the old fashioned block of wood trick. I'll stick it on top of it, make sure it's sitting nice and flush, and we'll tap it in with our hammer. As you can see, that pushed our seal in nice and straight and didn't cause any damage to it. Now that our seal's fully installed, I always like to take a clean shop towel with some brake parts cleaner and clean off our area where our shoes will make contact, just in case there's any oil or grease from manufacturing on our hub assembly. We'll flip it on over. And we'll work on packing our inner bearing at this time. We'll work all this grease on the outer bearing just like we did the inner one. And we'll set it aside right there. All right, so we'll slide our new hub assembly onto our spindle. Now we can install our outer wheel bearing. Slide it into place. We'll take our washer here, slide it on the position, and reinstall our nut. We'll rotate our hub a little bit while we tighten the nut down. Make sure we have good free play in our bearings, which we do and it rotates nice and smooth. That grinding noise you're hearing are our brake shoes rubbing against our drum. That's normal. We have to adjust those a little bit here shortly. Now I'll reinstall our tab here, which holds our lock nut in place. Now before we reinstall our grease cap, I always like to take a little bit of grease, put it in there just so if it needs to, it can work its way into the bearings. 
We'll take our new cap, place it into our hub, and we'll tap it in. Clean off our excess grease. And that completes our installation of the e-trailer axle technology trailer hub and drum assembly for 7,000 pound axles. Part number AKHD-865-7-1-K. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.